So check this out. There's a new map project that's out there that I really want to show you guys. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I have some more cyber news and this is an interesting article, uh, super dope. Uh, I would, I'm happy to actually see something like this coming up, but we all know Google Maps. Google Maps is like one of the best map applications that are out there, you know, currently that you can use on all platforms. You know, you can use on Apple devices, you can use on Android devices, um, and Google Maps, you know, they basically have the best maps in the game, you know, when it comes to, you know, navigating and just using maps on your phone. But there's another project out there that's free and open source that I wanted to show you guys that I thought will be interesting to cover. And it looks like it might be a competitor to Google Maps. And I'm talking about the Overture Maps uh, project that's out there, uh, which was created by the Linux Foundation. And let's go over and hop over to the article and check it out. Before we move forward, I wanted to ask the Keep It Techie fam to consider joining my channel membership. By joining the membership, you can support the channel, get access to member-only videos, tech mentorship, early technical course access, and exclusive Linux content. Thanks, and back to the video. All right, cool. So I had an article up. This is on Android Police uh, because you know, most people that use maps, they use them on their phone, you know, at the end of the day. But like I said, this is an interesting article. It's on Android Police. It was released uh, about seven days ago, but it says Linux teams up with partners to overthrow Google Maps dominance. And like I said, they're like one of the best providers of maps, you know, as far as on your phone, as well as on the computer. A lot of people use Google Maps, you know, at the end of the day, uh, especially like, you know, plotting courses or whatever. Like if you're going on vacation, one drive across country, you know what I'm saying? Or if you're just trying to find something locally within your, you know, city. I use it a lot, especially like when I'm looking for new restaurants and all that stuff or whatever, or a new barber shop because they messed up my line. So I'm trying to find somewhere else to go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Google Maps is like the dominant player. But, you know, this uh, new map project is, you know, coming up and is something that's looking to overthrow, you know, Google Maps. And you'll see that it's trying to overthrow Google Maps by some of the key members that are associated with the project. Yeah, you'll be able to tell that they're trying to basically go after Google, you know what I'm saying? But let's go on and start reading the article. But it says, let's face it, Google Maps is a great mapping service that might be all you'll ever need depending on where you live and which places you visit. If you're looking for a similarly fully fledged mapping service on Android, you're basically out of luck. And that's true. Like I said, that's the only one really that you have available. I mean, they have other ones, you know, that are smaller, but you know what I'm saying? Google Maps is the dominant player at the end of the day. And it says, in fact, many third party developers rely on Google Maps data. Yeah, and that's true. A lot of these other projects, they do use Google Maps data. Now it says the Linux Foundation and a number of other companies recognize that, that this Google dominance is a problem and are teaming up to create a collaborative alternative with open source at its core. Now that's super cool because we all know you know, uh, Google Maps is owned by Google, it's closed source, you know, all that stuff, you know, and they also track everything you do at the end of the day. Uh, and that's just like all these other companies that are out there. But you'll start to see what I mean by, you know, these other members of kind of like the board of this uh, Overture Map project, you know what I'm saying, like the key members, you know, you'll see they, I mean, they, they're into the data collection as well. So, who knows if this is a good alternative at the end of the day, but uh, it's supposed to be open source. You know what I'm saying? You got a freedom to, you know, only provide certain information, you know, depending on the how the front end is written. But let's go down and read a little more so you guys can make your own decision on whether this is something you want to look into or, you know, support. But it says the Linux Foundation has announced that the initiative launches as Overture Maps via TechCrunch. Now it says, uh, together with its partners, 
AWS, <laughs> and then Meta and Microsoft, you know, and TomTom, Tom, obviously. But those through first three <laughs> are really supporting this project mainly for their own interests. At the end of the day, that's the way I see it. You know what I'm saying? They know that Google dominates this area on the web, so they're willing to work with some of these other competitors to Google because we all know AWS is one of them is the number one cloud provider. You know what I'm saying? So they back in it. You know, Meta is, you know, a data collection, you know, massive <laughs> company, uh, which, you know, owns Facebook and Instagram. And then, of course, Microsoft, you know, coming in last, they got Azure, you know, all that stuff or whatever, uh, where they're collecting data on its users. And they have, you know, all these Windows systems out there that are collecting data based on the usage of their operating system on this, on this service. So they all do the exact same thing. You know what I'm saying? And then TomTom, I don't know much about TomTom. Um, I've heard of it. I don't know much about it, but it says the the foundation wants to enable current and next generation map products by creating reliable, easy to use and interoperable uh, open map data as a shared asset that can strengthen mapping services worldwide. So that's the whole purpose of the, uh, you know, the project is to, you know, create a better mapping service. You know what I'm saying? And this was the tweet from the Linux Foundation where they announced it. And like I said, this this happened a couple days ago where they announced it December 15th. Uh, but it says over to our mission is to power current and next generation. Basically the same thing we just read in the article. And it says learn more about it at overturemaps.org. And we'll check out that link next because I have it open as well. But it says the project is targeted at developers and companies that want to create their own mapping system. So they'll house, house the data, essentially, and then provide that data to different companies out there that want to use this data. Uh, so uh, it says in the beginning, the service will offer basic layers only, like buildings and roads. It's supposed to involve evolve to provide a better resolution and more accuracy and the linux foundation promises that at some point it will also provide uh routing data uh 3d buildings and places information it says overtour relies on different existing data sources and it's supposed to be used as a complementary addition to open street maps uh, and that is a community created alternative to Google Maps. Uh, I've heard of it. I've used it uh, in the past. Uh, but yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Now, spatial information will also be available at some point, which explains how Facebook parent company Meta fits into the initiative. The company could rely on this data to power some of its VR and AR applications. That's where they're coming in. They're trying to, you know, use that information or that data. It's just a way to get some more data for, for Meta at the end of the day. It says a uh, notable missing from the collaborations or Apple and Google, of course. You know, Google is already set and Apple already has their map, you know, application on their phone. So, uh, and that's a good application as well. I, 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 I don't understand. Well, it's mainly because, you know, there are more Android phones out there. So therefore there's a lot more people using Google Maps than Apple, you know what I'm saying? But their application for Maps is awesome as well. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a good, you know, it's just, not on the level of Google because there's so many Android devices out there. But it says, uh, which both offer map services of their own. Uh, the approach is drastically different from Google, uh, which is a single entity that holds power over its map products and how third party developers can use it. Yes. And that's the whole problem with the uh, with Google Maps. Since it's the dominant player, you know, they own everything. You know what I'm saying? They hold all the power over the data. Um, people give data to Google every single day on these map on this map application. Like they have it where I think at one point they were giving people like uh, storage space on Google, you know, cloud or whatever for 
like reviewing uh, restaurants and all kind of stuff. You know, if you if you make reviews of certain things or uh, gave them feedback for you know the maps that they provided to you or the directions that they gave you, they at one point was giving out you know free space and all this stuff. Uh, I remember. Uh, somebody i knew got some free space because they reviewed a lot of things or whatever uh over time they got like free space where they could store data you know in google cloud their google drive and all that stuff uh they expanded it for them for free you know what i'm saying which was <laughs> super crazy but it says it's possible that the open collaborative approach will prove more viable in the future as regulators watch gatekeepers and monopolies with increasingly increasing scrutiny so that's the whole purpose of them creating this thing it's supposed to you know open it up where it's not owned by one company this data is shared you know what i'm saying so that's the whole purpose of it so it's, it's a good you know it's a good idea it's a good you know project that they're working on and i speaking of the project let's go down and hop over to the project so this is over to maps.org it says powering current and next generation map products by creating reliable, easy to use, and interoperable uh, open map data. Uh, who is Overtour? Overtour is for developers who build map services or use uh, geospatial data. Now it says uh, why Overtour uh, collaborative map building. You know, it's it's all collaborative. It says sourcing and curating high quality, up to date, and comprehensive map data from disparate uh, sources is difficult and expensive. Overtour aims to, aims to incorporate map data from multiple sources, including Overtour members. So the members, meaning Microsoft, AWS, as well as Meta, you know, all that, you know, data in one area um, and civic organizations and open data sources. Uh, and in global entity reference system, multiple, uh, data sets reference the same real world entities using their own conventions and vocabulary. So essentially this whole pro the whole purpose of this project uh, at the end of the day is to make all the data available to everyone without one company controlling it. That's the whole purpose of it. And so I can't beat up too bad on these guys or whatever. Uh, I get it. They're supporting something that's open source, you know, but in the past microsoft has always had their <laughs> their issues with open source you know it then kind of changed up you know especially with them owning github and all that stuff now they kind of support open source as well as um the way you can like use linux on microsoft or on windows you know what i'm saying super cool um so and then amazon even has their own uh linux distribution out there so that's super dope you know what I'm saying? But you can join the project, you know what I'm saying? But this is the information behind it. Um, and so check it out. I'll have both of these links down in the description of the video. But like I said, this is an interesting article. I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Uh, they want to, you know, open up this data to everyone. So that's super dope that they're actually doing that. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully it's nothing nefarious going on in the background you know especially working with some of these these companies that don't really respect people's privacy at the end of the day um but it's interesting nonetheless now i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and also give me your thoughts on this map this new map project uh, created by the Linux Foundation and them working with these other companies, you know, like AWS and Microsoft and Meta. Let me know your thoughts. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And of course, keep it taking.